Hello, my name is Richard Pearson and I'm the lead developer at Spider Sites. Now, if like me, you're a, a web application developer working with PHP and you have uh, an Apache web server set up to uh, work with um, your PHP on a Windows system, then you'll appreciate it how difficult it can be to actually debug um, a PHP web application. Um, Basically, all you have to work for with is uh, a log file, um, and their log files are in the Apache Logs directory. Now, I have uh, several websites, and each of them is configured to have their own uh, log file. So, my main uh, website uh, development is on uh, wsitebuilder.com. Um, so, on my system here, I've got a separate log for it, uh, wsitebuilder.log. I'm just going to show you what the format required for the log is. As you can see, this is a PHP um, error log uh, that makes use of the Apache logging system. Um, and, and as you can see, um, it has uh, a uh, date, type, process, client, and then a, an error message, um, which is what we're interested in. Now. Um, while you're using your web application, uh, it'll be logging warnings and errors that very often um, may actually stop your um, system from running or may uh, go unnoticed unless you actually check your log files properly while you're uh, testing. So I'll just close that down now. And what I'm just going to do is just show you um, my uh, website application. So this is my uh, website. Now um, uh, this is still under development at the moment and I need to ha I have a few bugs that I and want to fix in it. Um, now as I'm using this um, uh, website um, it will be sort of logging warnings and errors in the log file that we talked about earlier. So that's what we mean when we're talking about um, a PHP website. Now I use uh, a web application, um, Windows application called uh, Dreamweaver, which I use to develop my uh, PHP websites. Now I'm using the latest version of uh, Dreamweaver, and Dreamweaver does help with um, syntax um, of uh, your PHP so it, it will alert you of errors but it won't find all your errors, errors and um, that you would only get when you're actually running the application if we just go back and, and have a look at that uh, log file again now uh, we just find an error so for example this one here as you can see, it's quite a laborious pro uh, process trying to locate errors in, in the log file. Um, and um, it might be a simple solution to um, um, open the file in another application, but um, Apache uh, locks the file so that it can't be opened um, by most applications, uh, which is what our um, little program gets around. So I'm just going to fire up Dreamweaver now. So that's the problem. Now, <coughs> what we want is a way to easily debug um, web applications um, as they're being used. Now, um, we've developed a little program called Apache PHP Log Monitor, which makes the whole process of uh, reading the log file and um, uh, making it much easier to understand. Um, so I'm just going to start up my program now and um, it's already opened that log file uh, in a tablet table format which means it's, it's much easier to to read um, now if I double click on an entry then it brings up that message much more clearly and easy to see you can see the, uh, the, the file and the line number um, and the, the URL um, that was in the message. Um, 
so that's that's um you know that that basically what you've got there is is the log file as it as it stands um at the moment now uh, as you're using um the web application uh that file gets added to with um additional errors and warnings as you're using your website um now if you just opened the the text file in uh, uh an editor then um like notepad for example then you you have to keep opening the log file and scrolling to the bottom of the file to to find those new errors which is a laborious process um and what uh, uh log monitor does is it makes that much easier because it automatically monitors the log file and um whenever there are any new um errors it automatically updates the system and shows you those most recent errors rather than all of them it just shows you the errors as and when they're happening now not only that but as errors occur um, the system will beep to let you know an error has occurred and the, the log file uh, will be brought brought up in the in the in the application so you can see those news er new errors and fix them in Dreamweaver or whatever other editor you use so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to generate an error that I know will happen uh, on the system. Um, so um, if I uh, register on the system, Now, as you can see, what happened then? Uh, it generated uh, an, an error message because uh, it's trying to mail, and mail doesn't work on on my local machine. Uh, and so it beeped, um, and it came up with that error. If we just double click on it, you can see that it's it's said that the mail um, function failed uh, to be able to send an email. Um, and what it's done. Um, as it's 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 only showing the the new errors as as and when they occur. Um, so, I mean, you you can reopen the file and and see the whole um, the whole lot. Um, but this makes it so much easier uh, to debug your application because you can see the errors as and when they're happening uh, in the system uh, and uh, respond to them. Um, you can um, set preferences in the program. Uh, you can choose your log file, which obviously you'll need to do when you first um, start the program up. You're going to need to uh, configure uh, your log file under preferences. Uh, and you can set an, an automated scan time, which is how often it checks whether the file is updated uh, so that it can update the, uh, the system. Um, so as you say, what you would do then is, is look up the line number in uh, Dreamweaver and uh, make your uh, modifications. That concludes this demonstration for uh, PHP Log Monitor. Uh, thank you for listening. Uh, goodbye.